Okay, today we're going to compare flour with different granulation size. I've milled these three flowers using the same grain. This is hard red winter wheat. Okay, so I milled, uh, I milled these berries through a small stone mill. Okay, so I have the finest flower here and it gets coarser and coarser this way. So the finest flower here, you can see that it packs when I squeeze. And this one is a little bit coarser. I can feel a little bit of greediness between my finger. When I squeeze, this one doesn't pack. This is the coarsest one. It feels almost like cornmeal. And it definitely does not pack in my hand. Now the big difference that this makes is how much water it absorbs when the dough is mixed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to add the same quantity of water into each flour and see how they absorb the water differently. I have 100 grams of flour here, each type, and 100 grams of water scaled out. Okay, so here you can see the consistency difference. With the finest one, it absorbs the water immediately and it forms a dough like this. Okay, it, can, it clears the container right away. Okay, I did not mix a lot, so the gluten is not developing. It has a medium soft consistency right now. So this is with the finest flour. With the second flour, the mixture has a soft consistency. It absorbs the water. I can still feel the greediness on my finger. And also it doesn't really have any elasticity at this point. The mixture break, breaks apart very easily. It's, it's rather pasty than the dough consistency right now. And the, the last one, the third mixture, this also has a soft consistency and this definitely does not have any elasticity whatsoever. These are the same mixtures that I prepared several hours ago. And now you can see the difference in the dough consistency. With the, uh, the one that's made with finest flour, it's starting to develop the gluten, so I can almost pull a window like this. This is just by letting it rest uh, combined with water. Okay, so here, this one that I just mixed, it does not have much strength yet. Okay, and the second mixture here. Okay, with the second mixture, it has quite a bit of gluten development. It's not very strong, but you can see that I'm pulling a pretty good window already without even mixing a lot. So compared to this against one that's just mixed, there is a huge difference. The last one, with this one too, I can pull a window very gently. It's not a strong window at all, but it's definitely connecting. The gluten is definitely connecting. So again, compare this against the one that is just mixed. There is a big difference here as well. So uh, the lesson to take away from this is that if you're using coarser flour, you definitely benefit from letting it rest for uh, maybe an hour, several hours. It's better if you have a coarser flour in order to make a, a good structure dough. Um, especially if you're using 100% of the coarse milled flour, then combine the water and flour first and let it rest before beginning to mix your dough. And your dough will uh, become stronger without having to mix for a long time.